It's been a really interesting experience. Uh, everything here, while the Bradley is not new to us, the competition is very new to us. All these events, uh, while we knew what they are, uh, it's been really interesting seeing how they're playing out, uh, all the twists and turns, um, been a lot of fun. Uh, we're giving it our best, and that's all I can ask for from my guys. We're having a lot of fun. The most challenging aspect, I'd say, is the competition itself. You know, when we're back at Fort Carson, there is some competition, but it's more friendly competition. Out here, it's your first or your last. So it's putting a lot of pressure on us to give it our best every second of every day. Well, we uh, looked up the events for the Sullivan Cup and we based our training off that. Our PT was based off the Starry PT that we did this morning, uh, which involves rolling uh, Bradley road wheels and working with the tow missile simulators, working out with those for uh, our Bradley tests, like our simulations. We've been practicing on the simulators over in Bulgaria uh, leading up to the competition and a lot, a lot of simulation try. That's uh, essentially what we've been doing. Go ahead, yeah, so we're part of 3rd Infantry Division and we fall under the 2nd Armored Brigade Combat Team. So pretty much we're a heavy unit. We have Bradley's tanks, Paladins. So we're more the mechanized outside the house. So we fight and operate and win our nation wars through armored warfare. Yeah. I think for us too, uh, just physically, um, we can go toe to toe with just about anyone. Um, probably our strong suit. So any physical event, you want some he heavy uh, weight lifted, then we will absolutely dominate. Yeah. I think for us too, uh, just physically, um, we can go toe to toe with just about anyone. Um, probably our strong suit. So any physical event. Want some he heavy uh, weight lifted, then we will absolutely dominate. Is that a starry uh, PT? Yes, sir. So this morning, yeah, we did a starry PT. Uh, we all finished the ammo left within half the time allotted. Um, it was light work, so we kind of, we made it look easy. Did you max out? As the National Guard team, I think we have an edge because we're able to maintain crew cohesion. Unlike I've heard a lot of active duty teams where sometimes the turnover gets so high, it's hard to really get to know your crews Unlike in the National Guard, where we'll have guys that are being in the same unit for sometimes five, six, seven, eight, even 10 years, so you'll have crews, TCs, and gunners that have been together for a long time. I mean, I've known all these guys in my unit for five years now, so we've been together for a long time. We know each other. We know how to work together. We know how to get it done. We know how to win. I am the tank commander. The tank commander's role and responsibility, I'm there to essentially maintain control of the vehicle and direct the other crew members basically to ensure that they're doing what they're supposed to do. For the most part, they know what to do, but I'm there to just maintain that control and ensure that we're doing what needs to be done when it needs to be done. Going into the Starry PT test, I think we're feeling really good about it. I think perhaps because we've been in the field for, for uh, excuse me, we have been in the field for a few days conducting some of the operations out there. It made it a little bit more challenging than we originally anticipated, but we went out there, we attacked the field. I think we did a great job at it. And honestly, I'm super proud of my guys. I would have liked to have done a little bit for for myself, but my guys absolutely crushed it out there.